Hey guys and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to be solving a problem using Python. We're looking at a Tim Tams problem. So what the problem is, all right, you need to write up a program that works out how many Tim Tams each of your friends will get if you divide up a packet. Your program should read in how many packets of Tim Tams you have and how many people there are. It then should print out how many each person gets and there are 11 Tim Tams per packet. So we will need to create uh, some kind of code that will allow us to import a value over here. We will also need another line of code that allows us to import um, how many people there are. And then we use simple mathematics to find out how many Tim Tams each person gets. So in this example, we will need to uh, times 11 Tim Tams by two packets because we've got that information there. We will also then need to divide it by the amount of people that are there. So four people. And then in turn, uh, each person will receive 5.5 Tim Tams. So we start off with our IPO chart. Now our IPO chart will list all of our inputs, outputs and processes. So the inputs, the things that we need for this program to work, we need to know the number of people there are and we need to know how many packets you have as well. The outputs is pretty much how many Tim Tams each person will receive and how do you get to the output from the input? You need to do a simple mathematical uh, formula which is all about timesing 11 by the number of packets that you have and then dividing it by how many people that you have. So the pseudocode. To write pseudocode, we need to start with uh, begin and we need to finish with end. And then pseudocode, it's like plain English. It's, it's just a little bit before the actual real code. So in plain English, what needs to happen? First thing that needs to happen is we need to accept the number of packets and people that we have. We then need to set up another variable, which is called Tim Tams. And then we'll apply the mathematical uh, equation of 11 times the number of packets. And then we need to find out how many Tim Tams each person will receive by dividing the number of Tim Tams, the total number of Tim Tams, by the, no the total number of people. And then finally, we display the Tim Tams per person. So our flowchart, again, very basic, very simple. We're using our ovals to begin and end. We have our parallelograms for our inputs and then we have our uh, rectangles for our processes. So it's exactly the same as the pseudocode. We accept the number of packets, we accept the number of people. Then we apply this equation, Tim Tams. The total number of Tim Tams is 11 times the number of packets. And then the Tim Tams per person is the total number of Tim Tams divided by the number of people. And then finally you display the, the message and the Tim Tams per person. So what does this look like in real code? So in real code in Python, to do this, we'll need to set up our variables, number of packets, number of people. When setting up variables, your variables should have meaningful names so that you can easily identify them later. Because we're applying mathematical functions to these variables, we need to make sure that they are integers. And we also need to work with this uh, function of input. Now this will allow us, when we run the actual uh, program, that it will allow the computer to import uh, numbers into the program. So then our first um, little formula here is we need to find the total number of Tim Tams. So all we need to do is, you know, times 11 by the number of packets that we have. And then finally, the Tim Tams per person is the total number of Tim Tams divided by the number of people that you have. So once you've done that, we then need to print our final message. And our final message will say each person gets the number of Tim Tams and then finally down here, Tim Tams as well. Now, to get this to work, you need to use concatenation. And this is where these plus symbols come into play. But this number over here, we've set it up so far as an integer. Now, if we try to display that without converting it back to a string, it won't work. So we need to make sure that we convert it to a string by using the three letters str. Anyways, that's that little small piece of code. Thanks for watching and uh, I will see you next time.